Hello and welcome to the Hopkins Hangout Hour for Monday, Labor Day, September 7th. Our team is off today for the holiday, so today we're going to revisit our show on nature photography uh, with guests John Ritz and Andrew Cousins. And they're going to show off some of their pictures, and we're going to show uh, some pictures from you uh, viewers. Hopkins Hangout Hour will be live again tomorrow when we have Dr. Kavanaugh in to give us the update on the schools as they get ready to open uh, September 16th. And then uh, Wednesday, we're going to check with the women's club, see what they've been up to. Uh, Sean and Casey will return on Thursday for their uh, update on the COVID crisis here in Hopkinton. And Friday, Tom and I will be talking high school, college, and professional sports again with Jerry Keene and Andy Barron. So sit back, relax, and enjoy today's show. I am one of your hosts, Jim Cousins, along with Mike Tarosian, Bob Hamilton, and Tom Nappy, who will all be here chatting about nature photos with our special co-hosts, John Ritz and Andrew Cousins, who you have both, who have you all seen before. <clears throat> Hi, Mom. And Hi, we're going to talk about um, your pictures. We've received about 40 submittals, which is awesome. And we're going to see some of John's and Andrew's favorite pictures and maybe one of mine and uh, anybody else who might want to share. If you're watching us live Friday at 2 o'clock, please feel free to send yours along on our Facebook page or studio at hcam.tv. Let's jump right into it now and say hello to John and Andrew. Howdy. Hi, Dad. <laughs> nice to see you both again. Thanks for being here. Nice to be here. What have you been doing for nature watching in the past weeks or two? Um, I've been running around the beaver pond area um, trying to get pictures of, of warblers and other neat birds. It's mainly been what I've been doing. Okay. How about you, John? Um, I've been taking pictures of people building trails because I've been out building a couple of trails off in um, over in the Saddle Hill area. So we try to document our work as we go along. And what what type of material are you using? Um, no, it's just just rakes and clippers, and we oh. had to cut a um, one big log that was twenty inch diameter. It took a couple of chainsaws oh. to get through that one. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Now, how did this come about? Like, who planned it? Um, this is Halt Land, so it's people from from Halt. Steve Lewandowski is the the main trail builder in town. He, we joke that um, if you see somebody out in your backyard cutting a path through your woods, it's Steve. He tends to build a lot of trails. Um, he's very uh, passionate about it. But uh, there's a, all around the Greenwood neighborhood, um, the land behind the houses, between the houses, is um, conservation land, open space that halt controls. And you would never know it. You're out on these gorgeous trails with deep ravines and thick forest and there's a house probably a hundred feet away from you and you can't see it you would never know it's there wow wow that's great yeah all right so i'm just curious uh have either bob tom or mike have you guys submitted a photo thinking that you might snag a water bottle <laughs> well I first thought i heard well i snagged the photos anyways but i knew that i was getting a water bottle <laughs> I'm right. lucky if I could get one of the paper cups out of the uh, spring water machine there. <laughs> now, these are awesome ones. These are really awesome water bottles. So um, we're going to be giving away two in this hour. And what will happen is John will pick his favorite picture of the hour, and Andrew will pick his favorite picture of the hour. And those two lucky winners, will, we will somehow get it to you in a physically distant manner. Listen, John, I'll pick one of your pictures if you pick one of mine. Sure, sure, it's a deal. <laughs> Oh, I knew there would be collusion. I knew it. <laughs> All right. So, Andrew, we're going to share a couple of pictures at a time. All um, right. So why don't you start, pick your first two, and then stop the share, and we'll chat more. Sure. All right. So this is a picture um, I took a few weeks ago on my cell phone. Um, it's actually right next to the Middlesex Bank in the in the center of town. And there's a little chipmunk um, in these in these bushes eating these berries that's a great composition with the berries <laughs> and the green leaves and the chick mumps nicely scented there looks great <laughs> oh thank you 
thought it was very cute with the uh, chipmunk with the berry in its mouth. Just kind of <laughs> got there and looked at me, trying <laughs> not to be very noticeable. <laughs> yeah, I used to get pictures like that taken to me at the table. It was awful. <laughs> <laughs> And then let's see. Uh, my next one, um, I got this in the beaver dam area. It's not a great picture, but it is a great bird um, that I wanted to show you. It's a northern flicker. Um, and you can kind of see how it's got this sort of brilliant gold under its wings and under its tail. Yeah. Uh, so in flight, they look really pretty neat. Um, the northern flicker is a type of woodpecker. That is amazing. That's the kind <laughs> of picture that I say to myself, where in nature does that kind of coloration come from <laughs> it's such a beautiful brilliant color yeah this bird looks like a morning dove and then it raises its wings and suddenly you're in the rainforest <laughs> <laughs> wow how big is that um it's a it's a decent sized woodpecker probably about the size of a morning dove actually oh okay a little bit longer and not as not as fat wow that's great yeah, we have some of them around our house. They they nest in one of the trees in our backyard. Oh, nice. Oh. I'm jealous. Okay. I'm trying to figure out a way to attract them to the feeders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Oh, they come to our feeder all the time. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. What do they like to eat? Um, that feeder is uh, actually all we have out there is sunflower seeds. Really? All right. Well. Maybe it's a maybe ours is in a bad placement. I'll try to move it around and see if we can get one. Yeah, or maybe it's all the uh, the blue jays chasing them away. Yeah, that could be too. Yeah, <laughs> They're a little aggressive. All right, so John, let's see a picture or two of yours, and then we'll get into some of the submissions. All right. So let me share this. So this is my photos. I, I, I've gone, I have an album of my favorite photos that I've done over the years. So this is from really quite a long time ago at a summer camp that I was a lifeguard at. And it was this log sticking out of the water and the reflection made it look like a dragon or something. So yeah. I always liked this I actually this thought one. that was a crocodile. And I was thinking that's a really skinny crocodile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and let me see if I can hang on. Okay. There's another one. Um, so this was, these were my early days of photography. So I was trying all sorts of techniques. This, I had, um, a special lens, a magnifying lens on my camera. So these are blades of grass, you know, it, they're about an inch tall and the dew was on them. And I liked the, the red color of the, of some of them combined with the green and the, uh, yeah. grassy and it yeah, is I wanted to, you know, I was trying Extreme close-ups to see what things would look like a little different down there. It is otherworldly, as they would say. Imagine that. Yeah, that water just like suspended there. That's so cool. Yeah. That's All right. great. All right. So we're going to turn to Tom. Tom is the keeper of the submittals, and he's going to share uh, a few of the first ones. Well, we got some great submissions, so thanks everybody who sent one in. This is from Agnella, and I'm assuming this is Hopkinton, but I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, um, that's um, Lake Whitehall at the dam. That's Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay. Nice. Now, look, look at the clouds. The clouds are really good. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. All right. We'll go back. I mean, you wouldn't think we've ever done this before. <laughs> technology <laughs> i forgot you can't go back once you're presenting okay uh yeah that's a great picture yeah there's another one from agnella oh i like that oh that's nice yeah john yeah. do you recognize this trail <laughs> i'm trying to think it doesn't quite look like center trail it might be the echo trail you know the I mean, look how lush and green it is. It's like a like a rainforest canopy. Yeah, I tend to take some photos like that. I, I for some reason I like seeing a, a long road or a path or a stream heading off into into the distance with uh, you know a tunnel of trees. So yeah, yeah. I find I like it. I find it not only calming but also meditative. Yeah. You know, you could really kind of just get lost in, in your thoughts and uh, spend a lot of time there. I enjoy them a lot because I, 
all I could think of is the old railroad that could have been in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That picture of the old steam locomotives that I've seen around is amazing to think that it was here in Hopkinton. Yep. And all right, let's do another one. Sure. Uh, on the left, it's another one from Magnella. And then on the right, we have one from Amy. So a good picture of so, a rabbit on the left. And uh, yeah. looks like a nice day on the lake yeah, on the right. Huh? Yeah. Can't, get, can't get any smooth out there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. That is that is a mirror. That looks yeah. like, uh, I'm going to guess, Hopkins State Park. Yeah, I would think so. That would be my guess, too. Of course, that must have been taken about three, four weeks ago because it's a lot lower now. <laughs> Everything is. <laughs> yeah. And look, you can see the pickets on the bottom right of the bunny. So he was oh, pretty yeah. close to somebody. Yeah, that's uh, funny. I got I one similar like that. Hopefully, that. hopefully I made the cut in Tom's slideshows. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see. All right. <laughs> All right. So take, take break from that. I am going to actually share one picture. Just because it's my one of my coolest pictures. So I would say it's probably my coolest bird picture ever. And it's this guy right here. I checked oh, to make sure yeah. I hadn't shared this before. But this is, I know, not very great. But that is a <laughs> scarlet tanager. Mm -hmm. And the thing, who would think that color is, exists in nature? It's so deeply red. So and not only in nature, red. here in Massachusetts. I know, <laughs> right in our front yard. Uh, I mean, first, you know, because we were far away. We're at our front door. I thought it was a, uh, I thought it was a red leaf that was <laughs> left over from the fall last year. And then I saw it move. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's the kind of color, you know, you would expect to see. Like, I always think of lapis lazuli from uh, the ancient Egyptians and how expensive that was. And what a beautiful sure. hue of blue that was and mm -hmm. these types of things why would evolution come to that color <laughs> <laughs> so amazing so what All do you right. what did yeah. you what camera did you take that with with your with a cell phone or i'm just that, interested in equipment at this point <laughs> yes yes I, I don't have a really good camera that was my cell phone okay yeah we and have cell one. phones these mm -hmm. days have gotten so much better i did you know, we've been traveling in Europe before all of this stopped us. And um, the first trips we've been doing, I brought, I have a nice um, Nikon DSLR and I brought that and I looked like your typical tourist with the camera <laughs> around my neck. And most of everybody else on the trip was just their cell phones. And I'm yeah. looking at the the specs on my my camera on the phone and I'm like, why am I lugging the Nikon <laughs> wow. anymore? I'll tell you why, because that was a Pixel 2. My wife has a Pixel 3, and she gets some really good photographs with, like, vibrant colors and just looks really natural. But Andrew has he uses the camera that we have in the house, which is a uh, Canon Rebel. And it's got a, I don't know what it, I think it's a 150. It's got a big lens on it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he can get... Uh, I'm sure we'll see some of these pictures where he gets close-ups that you can never get otherwise because, you know, the birds fly away if you get too close. Yeah. No, I'll say the big lens on my Nikon is probably the only reason um, mm -hmm. it's big advantage right there. The, yeah. the cell phone takes good quality, but, yeah, you can't zoom yeah. in like the Nikon. Yeah, can. absolutely. How big is your big lens? Do you know? Off top it's about head? the same. It's uh, probably up to 150. Okay. I forget, but 55 and then end up. So I use that. I I'd also like have a, yeah. a waterproof camera that I take on um, camping trips to save my cell phone battery if I go up hiking in the White Mountains. Oh. And that's got um, sort of a two-part zoom. It, it's uh, a mechanical zoom for the first part, and then it's got a, you know, a logical zoom for yeah. the rest of it. Um, oh, okay. But I can drop it. I can, it'll, it, <laughs> I can throw it underwater for a bit. And uh, so yeah. it's a good camera to take for those. Yeah. I'll tell you, after seeing what Andrew's doing with his, it makes me want to just try one of those cameras that birders have with, like, the <laughs> lens that's, like, this long. Yep. A lens that's so big it has a stick <laughs> to support it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, Tom, let's have a couple more. Sure. John and Andrew will pay their closest attention. 
All right. On the left, we have another one from Amy. On the right, this is a submittal from Anne. Now, you see that? I love on the right there. The center is in focus and the edges are a little blurry. I just love that effect. I think that looks really nice. Yeah, I really have to admire the uh, the picture on the left. You can really see all the all the texture of that frog. Right. Yeah, it's nicely composed. I wonder what kind of frog that is. It's very gray. Yeah. Frog or toad? I'm I'm always been a little. I assume. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking great at toad. Telling apart, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't, know, I didn't know there was a difference. <laughs> it, whatever it is, it no, looks there, big. There is a difference. <laughs> you know, we used to have a a frog or a toad that lived in our little pond in the back, and it was so big we called it hamburger because it was as big as a hamburger. <laughs> Funny. All right, John. I mean, uh, Tom, sorry. All right. These are from Darlene. Oh. And uh, she said these are took place in Maine. Ooh. Wow. wow. Look at the color. Now, again, you know, color. <laughs> it's colors are so nice. Of course, the, the gold on the right-hand side oh, is really sunset. nice. But I yeah. love the touch of bright colors on the left with the red boat and the yellow boat behind it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, loving, I'm, I'm digging the sunrise, how it just brightens up that yep. whole shoreline of Rosa houses. Yeah. And it brings out the colors of these lobster traps. I know. Look at all the different colors, the yellow, the pink, the blue, the orange. Wow. There's a lot of color in there. Now, my one comment on the I, – I love both of them. I love the colors and such. One comment on the one on the left, um, I'm thinking rule of thirds. Right now, that looks like about rule of, of halves. Yeah. Um, so it. My, my one suggestion on it, maybe for cropping, would be crop either crop off the top or crop off. I, I like the bottom. I like that really yeah, deep blue at the agree. bottom. Yeah. It's, it's a hard one to choose, but if I was to choose, I'd, I'd probably crop the bottom out. You think? That'd be me. I would go yeah. for I would I would crop the top out because there's no clouds in the sky. That's so it's why just going to be a blue. It. The only problem I wonder is if she tilted down more or included more on the bottom, would you then get the pier? Uh, yeah. You know? Or her feet. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But it's interesting because the top and the bottom are both so blank, yeah. you know, that yeah. it really focuses you on the center of attention there. Yeah. But the bottom, you've got that really dark blue at the very bottom. Yep. And going in gradients up the top. Um, once you get above in where, where it starts turning blue, it's pretty much a consistent blue all the way up. I don't, there isn't there. Like you say, no, if there are clouds up there, something for some. Yeah. To look at. Yeah. I love, I love the no clouds. I think that's why I, I would cut the bottom. If I, was, sort of an if, infinity. I was to, if I was to crop that, I would definitely crop some of that bottom up. You know, it's really interesting thinking about the rule of thirds. However, the thing I would say is if you, if you cropped one or the other, you would be adding more. Right. If you crop the bottom, it's because you're tilting up and you're adding more sky. And if you crop the sky, you're tilting down, you're adding more bottom. And right, I right. think that adding either top or bottom does not add anything to the picture. Right. You're just right. adding more of nothing. Yeah. Looking at so, that water on the left, though, that's good jet ski and water. <laughs> 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 All right. What else we got? Those are good. All right, on the left is another one from Darlene. And then uh, I, I apologize in advance if I pronounce this name wrong, but the one on the right is from Janal. Mm. Wow. Wow, that's amazing how mirror-like that is. Yeah. Nice like, if you waters. turned that upside down, you would not know that was a body of water. <laughs> Wouldn't know the difference. No. Do you think the picture on the right, do we recognize that? Is that in Hopkinton, or do you think that's somewhere else? I can't read that. I was trying to decipher what it said right here. Yeah. Uh, but I couldn't. <laughs> I wonder, that almost looks like a bench in a cemetery. I don't know. I think it's the um, Stonehenge from Spinal Tap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just had our kids watch that movie, and they were like, why did you make us watch this movie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. It's a trap. No, Mike, it's, it's really dated. It's really dated. <laughs> of course it but, is, but that's what makes it fun. But the Stonehenge is the best part of it. I love, yeah. I love the light illuminating 
through the trees in the background. That's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I feel like I'm right there. Yeah. And look at the look at the clouds on the left. It's almost like water, you know, it's almost like they're fluid. That, boy, that's a nice picture. I want to know if anyone lives here. <laughs> <laughs> They must look. They got a ladder going up. Got the a side. ladder They're working on it. <laughs> hey, just watch your first step. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're ready for the storms. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All it right. Does. One more page on this, Tom. Then we're going to see some more from Andrew and John. All righty. All right. On the uh, left, we have another one from Janal, and then on the right, we have one from Margie. Wow. wow. That look is how nice. close she was to that <laughs> cardinal. Yeah. That's really cool. Again, how did that bird survive? <laughs> you know? uh, I wonder if she just had an extreme zoom, though. Yeah. It's so, it doesn't look like it's just walking along with her, like going yeah. down the path. Yeah. Andrew. Yes. You think that the left, I don't know. To me, it looks like Lake Wasika, but I don't know a lot of places, and I don't know if there's enough there to identify it. I don't think it is um the sort of sort of um wooden structure in the front looks um more like the left of the pond but okay. um there really is more more down treeage there so i think it's somewhere else now between the wooden structure and then that wooden pole just to the right of it you can see that spot of water Mm -hmm. I can't tell if that's something or not, but it, it looks like there's something blue in between. Yeah. Yeah, I was just going to talk about that. If it wasn't for the scale of the grass in the front, that would look like a person standing in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wonder what that is. Yeah. Don't it know. could be just a, a buoy marker, or it could be, you know, I hate to say it, but it could just be a piece of trash that gets stuck on the wood. <laughs> yeah, we'll it, could be, um, it could be maybe a small uh, stump in the water. It looks like there's something similar to that on the right that sort of oh yeah so it could be a small dead tree yeah, yeah. Mm. beautiful beautiful All right. okay Stop. who's now who's uh who's going to share a couple more john or andrew first andrew oh, you go, go. all right let's see oh my gosh it's 222 already guys <laughs> so you're talking about how much you love color so i gave you this solid green picture <laughs> 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 Except for the dead center. <laughs> yep, uh, we've got a little flycatcher there. I'm not going to hazard a guess as to what kind of flycatcher that is. They all look the same to me. Um, but that's a that's flycatcher sitting there, um, and it's probably looking for insects to sally forth and catch, and then to return to this branch. I think flycatchers are the most adorable birds <laughs> because their heads are so large in comparison to their body. They look like little babies. They're so cute. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. We need more of those around to get rid of all the bugs. Yeah, yeah. I could oh, get yeah. behind that. <laughs> oh, yeah, Tom, check this out. Hey, Andrew. Yes. What's the success rate of a dragonfly catching a bug? 95%. That's what we yeah. need more of. <laughs> all right. <Wow. laughs> they only miss on a nat one. <laughs> nice. Maybe that would solve the mosquito problem. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> No, don't get Andrew started or he'll sell you a um, bat house. Yeah, I've, I've heard they're great, um, but we wouldn't know. <laughs> I, uh, I, want a, I want a bat cave. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That's a different show. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one, Andrew. All right. And this is uh, the same flycatcher, actually, on a different branch. Um, <laughs> kind of throwing his wings out like that. Looking right at you. Yeah. <laughs> I like how you zoom in. It stays so sharp. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That big big file. Are those big Blend. files? Well, the files must be huge. Yeah, the files are a pretty decent size. <laughs> and that was he about to fly when you took that picture? He actually I I wish I could remember better, but I think he was just preening, actually. Um kind of shaking himself out. I have a couple of him with his head under his wings, um, just kind of cleaning himself off. So I don't think he actually was taking off at that point. He might have been. Yeah, Andrew discovered a mode on the camera. I don't remember what it's called, but uh, it like really sharpens up the the photograph when he takes it. Yep, sports mode. Um, sports mode. Yeah, and that is for people like me who don't really know how to use a camera um, <laughs> and just use those presets. <laughs> yeah. All right, John, let's have a couple of yours. 
And then Alrighty. we're going to do a whole bunch of our submittals because we need to. <laughs> sure. All right. Um, sort of going to what I was saying of straight lines heading back into the into the distance. This is where is this? This is this is probably, the Merkwood. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to guess this is over at um, the state park. I if you haven't gone in there, I go a lot on the other side of the road from. Um, where the lake is back behind the headquarters building. There's a whole system of trails back there right. and um, streams, the stream that just... feeds into um, the brook that feeds into the, the lake is back there. And uh, it's just a gorgeous area. The trails actually go all the way over to Saddle Hill Road. Um, so this is one of my favorite areas. You know what I love about this? It's, it's a beautiful nature picture, but it's more rough. You know what I mean? Yep. It's like not just, um, it, it is well composed, but it's not like orderly. It's like the stream bank is not just straight and narrow. It's kind of, it, it, it's rough. Yep. It looks really, really natural. I like that. I like, and I like how the light comes in there it's to say, hey, if you follow me, you're going to come out of this. You know? Yeah. That's, it. That's what it says. I like that. All right. Here's another one. Oh, this is over at Lake Whitehall. Hmm. And oh, this would have yeah. probably been just with a cell phone. I probably just leaned over the side of my kayak. <laughs> I was in a in a field of lily pads and said, "That's a nice picture." So <laughs> that is cool. So That's Andrew beautiful. just <clears throat> had one recently where it was like, "Find the frogs," and there were a lot of frogs on the <laughs> yeah, lily pads. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple of big green frogs that really like the lily pads. Yeah. Okay. You're up, Tom. Tom, I'll tell you now. We got uh, more from Margie. Oh, beautiful. That's an amazing picture of the, well, both of them, but the rabbit. She's yeah. seen it get close what? to it. How cute and adorable. You know, don't you just want to like pet that little little thing? <laughs> so cute. Is that a was, seagull, do we think? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't hazard a guess as to what because I'm not great with seagulls, but um, mm. yeah. That looks like Ice House Pond, I'm going to guess. Yeah. The rabbit wow, looks like very all, young. All the green on the rocks is striking. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know if the rabbit was trying to get in here, though. <laughs> <laughs> I think the rabbit's just keeping an eye on the photographer, thinking, all right, am I going to bolt or am I not? <laughs> I'm thinking the seagull might be over at um, the state park. Oh. That Maybe sort of looks like an area just right up around the dam up there. Mm -hmm. It's a little beachy, huh. rocky area. Oh. Uh. Very nice. I like the green on the rocks there. Yeah, yeah. definitely. All right. And then this is another oh. one from Margie. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, adorable. that's adorable. Love it. That is, that is fantastic. Wow. <laughs> what's, what's that uh, nursery rhyme or the childhood story? Oh, <laughs> oh make, make way, way for ducklings. ducklings. Make way yeah. for ducklings. Love make it. way for goslings. I was gonna say. <laughs> Why did the goose cross the road? Yeah, that's so <laughs> cute. Uh, there's nothing to say about that. It's just like oh, it's so funny adorable. and adorable. Just awesome. <laughs> that, that's just like in the right place at the right time kind yes. of Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then uh, this is from, oh. it's from Heather, but her daughter took it. And that is unbelievable uh, how yeah. close she was to the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can see the fuzziness right, right on those bees. That is beautiful. Mm, I love that. You know, I love that the purple is in focus, and then you have splotches of yellow that are blurry in the background. Yeah. It adds yeah. such a depth, you know, such a feeling of depth to it. That is nice. Yeah, That's and pretty. we really got, like, a great view of both bees. I've been, I've been trying to do some bees, and they're not as cooperative as you'd think they'd be. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've definitely never gotten two that are so, so nicely yeah. facing you. Yeah. No, that's okay. great. I like the mix of colors in there. And then this is uh, Twitter submissions. Oh. On the left, we got Casey. That's an unbelievable picture. Wow. And then on the right, Jennifer. Oh, oh wow. Wow. I don't now, know why, but to me, like, those yeah. birds look like they're underwater with just their beaks yeah. sticking out. Doesn't <laughs> it have that look to it? Yeah. It looks this if you want to talk bird's eye view, this looks like the bird coming in to feed the kids. Yeah. Yeah. 
wow. and his beautiful flowers to boot. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. That's a great picture of that dragonfly. I don't know if I mentioned this, but they have a 95% success rate when they hunt. <laughs> <laughs> just, get, just get more of those around. That'll solve the triple oh. E problem. Yeah, so who's, who submitted the dragonfly picture? Uh, it was Jennifer. I don't have it was a Jennifer. last name. I'm, I'm taking notes, so. Okay. All right, and then uh, we have some more submissions. Uh, the left is a Twitter submission from Pat. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> and the right That's is great. Facebook from Margie. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Oh, I love that, dear. You I know, don't know what I don't see it. I just see, oh, look, there's like a, like a, like, I don't know, a tree trunk or something like that. And then there's a face right there looking at you. That, that's the, <laughs> uh, that's the, the gas slides down by. Oh, oh is that right? Yeah. The, the deer looks surprised. It looks like it was eating or something. And then it yeah. heard something <laughs> popped the set up. Mm. <laughs> and again, really good focus on, on the bumblebee. Yeah, that is beautiful. Boy, they're really furry. <laughs> you don't want to pet them, though. <laughs> no, but those are the kind. Those bees, you know, a lot of bees make me nervous, but bumblebees mm. don't. Bumblebees, bumblebees are friendly. Just, yeah, yeah they, they're just friendly. They bumble along. They're nice. <laughs> bumble, 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 yep. bumble. They're actually uh, really important pollinators because they have um, a method of buzzing their wings to get the pollen out of certain plants that otherwise can't really be effectively pollinated. Um, so they're really important local pollinators as well. Hmm. Imagine that. Great fact. Oh, look at that color. On oh, that wow. wow. More from Margie. Wow. That's crazy. The I one think of somebody painted that. <laughs> <laughs> Those crazy filters these kids use today. I know. <laughs> Boy, you know what? When I was on my honeymoon, we were in England, and I took – dozens of photographs of the clouds because they were just so impressive and my <laughs> wife eventually said jim they're not going to look this good and they never did but this <laughs> is a really nice picture of clouds oh, i like that a lot i like yeah. the composition on that one yes yep with the puffy clouds on the lower right and sort of the higher altitude ones up on the left yeah yeah it has a nice sense of motion to it very nice boy and i like how the the uh, dragonflies got also a green flower off to the right, you know? Yeah. yeah. It just adds a, just a little, as they say on TV, a little pop of color. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing a baseball game not too long ago. A dragonfly landed right on the, uh, right on the camera. And it was on the antenna of um, the, uh, what do we call it? I'm having a mind blank here. It was the live, de the live device. And yep. uh, Tyrannic. So it was on the antenna and it stayed there for about three innings. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. John, John Ritz has a great one of a dragonfly on a SM57 microphone at a concert on the Common, probably what, six, seven years ago? Remember that? Yes, I, I had forgotten about that. <laughs> yeah, it showed up in my time hot memories uh, last week. Wow. Dragonflies have really incredible necks um, in that they can move their heads to see in almost any direction around themselves. I cool. really love those animals. Wow. <laughs> it, it, was pretty, right. it was pretty funny, though. When the camera was panning, the dragonfly just stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh wow. Well, let's see if anyone on the show can guess who this is from. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's crazy. It's like upside down. This is from <laughs> Mike. <laughs> It was actually pointing straight upside down. Yeah, like walking down. That's right above my back door. <laughs> wow. That is, they now, are so cool. I believe, um, I could be wrong, but I thought these are invasive. They are, actually. Um, I don't know if they're invasive. They're definitely non-native. Um, they come from Europe, actually. Yeah, they are protected. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's a good one. What do they do? Do they eat bugs, too? Yep. Ah. Now they actually eat the mate's heads after mating. <laughs> <laughs> that too. You know what? I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a favorite fun fact. I mean, <laughs> I don't know why. It just is. And it's coming out of Mike's house over here. So, Mike, yeah. did, you ever, did you ever stop to think that maybe that kind of fun fact is kind of scary, that that's a fun fact for you? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's just my macabre nature, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Interestingly, oh, wow. males will often offer food to uh, prospective mates in hopes that after mating it will not be as hungry <laughs> wow wow all right i used to just take them out to dinner that's all next up <laughs> this is another one from mike 
Oh, oh yeah. Okay. You want to talk about the rabbit? This rabbit is in my yard every day, all the time. <laughs> and there's Kai in the window, staring it down. That and is I, awesome. <laughs> I think Kai, I mean, I think the rabbit just loves to chase because she will come right up to the front stairs. I will come out without the dog and the rabbit will stay there and not move. <laughs> and I have another one by the car that I didn't submit, but yeah, they will stay there. It's not afraid of me, but as soon as the dog comes out, they give chase and the dog comes back 10 minutes later. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that is great. So Mike, did that sign come with the house or did you put that sign up? That one's mine. <laughs> yeah, it looks like one of yours. <laughs> That's definitely one of mine. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, this is from my mother. Oh, oh beautiful. That was taken in um, Scarborough Beach in Narragansett. Wow. wow. And wow, that's yeah. a really good, a really good picture of the wings. Yeah, yeah, good pose. And you know, and it's like kind of going up at an angle. It's really and centered very nicely. Yeah. Oh, I it, like that. I like the texture of the sand underneath, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that looks good too. And catching the shadow tells you it's up in the air and how far yeah. it is. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Cold. Very nice. Yeah, it just took off as she snapped the picture. It was like great timing. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> And then this is one I took of a sunset there against it. Oh, nice. Nice. Wow, that's good coloring. Yeah, the sunsets there are gorgeous. Yeah. I like the sil yeah, silhouetting is awesome. And then uh, on the left is a shot I got of my phone of a blue jay. Oh, nice. And on the right, that's a submission from Margie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, red the red squirrels are kind of shy. You don't see them as often. Mm. But wow, that's a really good shot of it. Yeah. It looks like it's probably right on a patio or something. Yeah. And uh this blue jay was over at my neighbor's house. I, I had to zoom in quite a ways to get a decent <laughs> yeah. shot of him, but yeah. He's here like every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got like six that are here every day. Yeah, but they're pretty bold. They're <laughs> yeah. Red squirrels, I always Feel, I always want to yell at them, cut down on the caffeine. <laughs> you know, we've got reds and grays, and the reds are just jumping, and they're, <laughs> they are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> hyper okay. All right, this is another one I took, uh, and it was in Narragansett. Or actually, no, this was uh, from my house in Milford, but it was... Yeah, so it looks like your backyard, Tom. <laughs> yes, but I did have one from Narragansett. I don't think I put that one in, though, mm. but... um. Yeah, it looked like a vicious storm. It didn't end up hitting us, but it hit somewhere near us and had torrential downpours. Yeah, yeah. you can see like right at the edge of that cloud, and it's a sunny day past there. Yeah. I think there was a tornado watch this day, too. So. No kidding. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just love that, that moment when you see the clouds and there's just something in the air and you know that there's a storm coming. It's just cool. It's like nature... Is communicating with you. All right, All right, let's take a break from this. All right, let's see a let's see a uh, couple more that Andrew's taken recently. All right, and then John, can you? I mean, Tom, can you check how many pages you got left to show? Uh, yeah, there's four. Four more. Okay, great. Ooh, it's a cutie. Yeah, yep. This is a um, warbler that I saw the other day, um, and I thought this was just a, a cute picture of it. Um, you know, like you got your whole little backstory there. Like he's peeking out at you, seeing what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm guessing you heard the bird first to find it because I don't know how you would find that in there. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, unless you're specifically looking in that direction. <laughs> yeah, he moved. He moved, and I uh, saw the motion. There you go. Um, and this one actually, I think the uh, I was pretty close to it, and I think he was hearing the sound of my shutter on the camera, hmm. um, and kind of hopping around and looking uh trying to find what was making the sound those guys can hop um they don't really need to fly from branch branch to branch they just jump oh they're pretty wild i like i like the half shadow on the face rather than just yeah you know, flat lighting yeah. <laughs> yeah i got lucky there yeah i have and, to do this uh mike you said you heard the bird bird is the word down, down, All right, Tom, don't give up your day job, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All 
What's so young, end? I'm surprised he even knew about that song. I know. <laughs> oh, it's a great family guy scene. <laughs> yeah, and this is a um I think it's a juvenile red shouldered hawk um that lives in the area and screams pretty incessantly. Uh, <laughs> so it's fairly easy to, <laughs> fairly easy to find. But oh, yeah. here he is. Um what's the scream sound like? It's like a key kind of sound. <laughs> like uh like every car dealership commercial you've ever seen. Um, <laughs> they sound a lot like red tailed hawks, and that's what's in those commercials. Um, but yeah, this guy I just thought gave me kind of a, a good view against the cloud in that yes. in that moment. Oops, sorry. Went a little too far there. It's another bird. Uh, huh. No, yes, I like it. I like it. Look at that bird. <laughs> <laughs> those look big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um they are pretty big, even as juveniles. They're pretty much adult sized. So, okay. go over to you, John. All right. Let me go back here. Back Quick, Andrew, here. you mentioned Jeez. about yeah, hearing the shutter noises and so forth. I just realized on my camera, my shutter noise is electronic. <laughs> I can actually shut that off. It don't yep. be there. It's not that. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Yeah. All right. So, um, what time of day was this, John? Boy, I have no idea. <laughs> Actually, I could probably find out, but no. I, I guess I, it's 7 a.m. Yeah, no, this was, you know, a foggy day um, in the fall. No no leaves on the trees, so they were all down on the ground. Um, but the fog just made for great lighting. This is over, again, behind the, the headquarters. There's a, um, it's called the Pipeline Trail, and it, for obvious reasons. And uh, it was just a nice shot. It's nice. It's nice that the, the trees leaning in, yeah. kind of drawing your eye down to, right. and then, I mean, the distance is just white. It looks so far away. It looks like a really nice long tunnel there. Yeah, it's a I, little I air love of mystery. The, I love how the fog just weaves between the trees as yeah. it gets, or whatever. It, it, you see like a nice weaving action. So Definitely. you know, halfway up that trail, you can see where it starts. And yep. then at the horizon, you have nothing. You know that's just dense fog. That's all. Definitely awesome. sleepy hollow, hollow material. Right. <laughs> I was just going to say. Have, I may have another one similar. I, it's sort of a favorite motif of mine. I've got another one somewhere. I don't know if I have it in this collection. Um, oh, this is a just a, a rock in the woods, sort of out behind my house, um, back in Cameron Woods, that I discovered that. This tree just is growing right out of the crack in the rock. And uh, wow. <laughs> anytime I'm out there, I go and find it. And it's just a cool one. That's neat. Wow. Well, that tree must be oh, pretty stable. I was I was confused. <laughs> I thought there was a tree in front of the rock, but that's actually a crack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the rock is separated and the tree's grown out of the top of it. Yeah. Wow. That's now you cool. would think, okay, the tree has cracked the rock. Probably not. Yeah. But, you know, I may have contributed a little bit, but the crack was there and filled with dirt and leaves. And yeah, it was you know, probably when the glacier dropped it and yeah. it just cracked in half. <laughs> I'm sure the tree's growing around it, growing, you know. Yeah, it's not moving that rock. No. Okay. Yeah. That's a cool one. All right. All right. So, John and Andrew, you're paying close attention, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Your thoughts. <laughs> okay. We got four more pages. Oh, we got to get moving here. <laughs> All right. This is from Margie. Oh, oh beautiful. beautiful. That's an interesting pattern, huh? Looks like almost like an X-ray. Yeah, that's cool. Mm. Almost looks like smoke. Wow. Yeah. I like yeah. this. You know what I like about the sun? You can actually see the sun, you know? It's not just white and washed out. Mm -hmm. It's actually delineated. There is the ball of the sun and then gradient out to the sky. I like the gradient. I like how you can almost see it sort of like a, a sharp line for each gradient. Yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, it's, it's, oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. I don't know why. It makes me think of Japan when I look at that picture. Yeah. I hear you. Cool. Without the pagoda. So, Andrew, yeah. any idea what kind of clouds those are? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not a cloud guy. <laughs> I think they look like envious to me, but <laughs> smoke clouds. No. <laughs> and then we got this is a submission just in the nick of time by Elise. 
th there's three different photos here. We got the frog in here, and we got the uh, what's that? Uh, what do they call it? The things with the pollen on it. I think it's a coronavirus. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a corona. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a corona flower. <laughs> that was good. I thought it was just a bad bat on a grill, but no, it's uh... coronavirus flower. <laughs> And then we got a nice scene of the woods here. Mm. I like, I, I always like trees leaning like that. You know, they have a tall, strong vertical and then they just have a little, a little motion in them like that. It's nice. I really like the kind of three shades of green in each photo. Yeah. That kind of yeah. darker one off to the left and lighter one to the right. Yeah. It's a nice, it's a nice combo of three. Yeah, it's very cool. Frog looks like it's in a swamp of Dagobah or something. <laughs> All right. So was that our last time? Was there another? No. Nope. Uh, this is more from Elise. Okay. And then, and then there's one more slide after this. Oh, this is oh, this is the same thing. These are like three good pictures that go well together, you know? Yeah. Yeah, oh, those are nice. Yeah, and it was she sent it as one photo all together. So yeah. yeah, that's just how I put it in there. <laughs> We don't think that's poison ivy, do we? Oh, what kind of is that? Uh, I don't think so. I think poison no. ivy usually has a little red. Yeah. Uh, Looks like it has berries. Yeah, the berries are nice. I like that little pop of color. Yeah. yeah. I've had some bad experiences with poison ivy. Mm. <laughs> Haven't we all? I never caught it. I, I don't catch it. Oh, yeah, I'm the same now. way. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Jane okay. got it last year working at a garden in Medway, and she mm. wound up having to take steroids, and oh. she was a mess with that for Oof. like a month. Wow. Oh, wow. That's right. All right. One more, John. I mean, Tom. Sorry. Yeah. And this is more from Elise. Oh, beautiful. Wow. Ooh, pretty. It's almost like a spider web. <laughs> yeah, the front, yeah that's, that's pretty slick. Look at that. Our first black and white photograph. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually that. That's and you know, nice. it's interesting. I think the black and white really accentuates that. It, you know, it just. Like, yeah, definitely. Looks like maybe a little beaver activity on the uh, stump. I would have loved to see Andrew, that. To you be beat a you to it. That, doesn't that look like a little beaver uh, thing? It does. <laughs> I would like to see that a larger image. Yeah. I love the berries too oh. white, blue, and red. Yeah. Red, white, and blue berries. Good patterning. Good patterning. Yeah, very cool. Okay. All right. All right. So there you have it. <laughs> we got about 12 minutes left. So I'd wow. like to uh, let Andrew finish the photographs that he brought for us and then a couple more from John. What well, you guys can be thinking about your All favorite right, yeah. photographs. Sounds good. All right. Here's a, um, a wren that I saw um, the other day. And you can see it's. Not as happy to see me as I was to see it. <laughs> um, I won't hazard to guess as to exactly what kind of wren. There are five that live in this area, and they all look kind of the same to me. Um, well, I'll tell you, focus makes such a difference, you know? No, <laughs> yeah. seriously, a lot of times when the birds are flying and they're a little bit blurry, when mm -hmm. you see them in sharp focus, just like the bumblebee, it's very striking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, like I really it. liked this bird. Um, he was making a lot of noise, but... Mm -hmm. He was pretty neat. This is the uh, juvenile hawk again, but you can kind of see he was looking at me. Oh, nice. at that time. oh yeah. So you get a bit of a view of his eye. I'm it's telling good. you, I think that head looks like a turtle head. <laughs> does look a little turtle -like. Do you think he's debating, uh, can I pick that guy up? Or... <laughs> Knowing hawks? Not. Yes, probably. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And this was an um, inquisitive little bluebird. Oh, I, <laughs> I love how he's cocking his head. Yeah. I hope he just doesn't walk too far on that power line there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. Well, I, I didn't see him the next day, so I think he got away. <laughs> <laughs> and then, let's see, uh, one more from me is uh, this little sparrow that I thought was, was kind of an interesting color. It's a lot of brown, but it's a lot of different shades of brown um, that I thought was, was kind of striking. And you can wow. see how it's... yeah. Um, grabbing the branch with its with its talons, which are surprisingly long. I don't know what it's got such long talons for, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks pretty happy. Yeah, <laughs> nice. 
All right. Let me grab okay. one from me. You're up. Um, this is uh, skunk cabbage. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Which is just a really cool looking plant. Comes out in the spring. Um, yes, it, it smells later oh, once it gets going. But they're one of the first plants to come up in the spring. And they come up red because uh, that protects them from the, the harsh sunlight. Um, green comes later. But uh, oh, wow. it's something I, I knew it at one point, all the reasoning, but red and absorbing wavelengths of light. Um, oh, interesting. So it comes up red at first. Is, yeah. is it edible? <laughs> no. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, if you smelled it, you wouldn't try it. Yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> there was you know what, Andrew? That you say that, right? But people <laughs> eat Brussels sprouts. Good point. <laughs> Yeah, skunk cabbage is interesting. I understand it actually um, makes its own heat by metabolizing the oxygen, um, and that's why it's able to come out so early. And it's also attractive to pollinators uh, early in the season because it's warmer inside the skunk cabbage than outside. I had heard that about the heat as well. It's a, yeah, that's a hmm. cool fact. <laughs> they are neat. Good way um, to find the edge of your wetlands. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This this is yet another experiment with getting up close and personal with smaller things. This one wasn't actually wasn't that small, but it's a that's a mushroom out in my backyard. It's sort of past its prime. It's starting to de decay, but I just like the shot of it. Yeah, I haven't seen one like that before. That's interesting. It's a neat yeah. one. You know, it, it's it's falling apart, but mm -hmm. and more cool. mushrooms in the background. Yeah, it almost looks like a pie. Yeah. yeah. But that's probably three, four inches across. Okay. At most. Let's see what else I've got. Up. Oh, just some ferns. I like the way the light was hitting them. Yeah. Nice patterning. On and again, one. like I always love, centers and focus, and you get kind of blurry on the edges. Yep. Really focuses your attention on, on the center of the image. That was it. And boy, the, the light green where the sun hits and the darker green where it's in shadow. Yep. That looks nice. Nice and right. sharp. Let me stop those. I don't know what else I have that's interesting. Okay. All right. So we've got about eight minutes left. And shall we uh, start? I think hearing we should all we talk like? about what we like. <laughs> oh, do you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Big, let's see if we can sway our uh, two judges. <laughs> but Mike's really right. angling for that water bottle. What yeah. if, <laughs> but what if we do sway our judges, and then what they end up picking wasn't actually what they would have started picking? Well, let, let's start that. Did do our judges know what they like already? I do know. I do not know uh, my favorite. My pick. Um, no kidding. But, yeah. Mr. Decisive. <laughs> well, John, down, are you still deliberating or what do you got? Do you think you know? I'm down to five. I have five that I've marked specially. <laughs> I do have one that I, I'm, I'm leaning towards. So. If you need to see any of them again, I could probably pull them up. Well, I expect you to pull up the winners. <laughs> so, yeah, that'd be nice. So be ready. <laughs> Will do. All right. All right. I, th I think we should have the... Uh, we should have the judges make their judging, and then we can talk about oh, if we want to do that. Talk does about Bob it. have any uh, stuff from social media? Any, any comments at all, Bob? What about your comments, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Andrew has clearly decided. I have yes, um, uh, and I would have to go with the swan with the cygnets. Uh, really love oh, birds, and that ooh. one was that one was awesome. You know, and, <laughs> And why do you think? Well, one is just that it's um, it's such an awesome sight. Um, and two is that uh, it's such a good picture mm -hmm. of, of these swans. A lot of times if I'm out and I see a really neat bird, it's just like I'm shooting from the hip with my cell phone. But yeah, that really, I think, came out well. And you know what I love about this? It's kind of like when we talk about with, with our dog, there are certain things that he does and you know what he's thinking. <laughs> and with this picture, you know what this is. This is a family outing, you know? Yeah. And like we can relate to that and we can understand that. And I think I just get a feeling of connection with 
when seeing something that's a clearly family thing. I think that's really cool. Yeah, definitely. Mm. That's a good one. Tom, what's the name on this one? Uh, I, I believe it was Margie. I think that okay. was Margie. All right. Thank you. You can uh, reluctantly end that screen share. <laughs> and uh, John, you were at five. Are you still debating? Or? I'm down to four. So let me, uh, can I suggest I, we look at my four finalists? Okay. And then I'll tell you which one I want to go with. All right. We have uh, five minutes left. So, okay. I will quickly. Your nimble fingers, Tom. All right. <laughs> I'll go quickly. Um, from the end of the collection, the black and white swamp. It was part of a, a three panel. I believe it was the last picture. I think it was the very the last, last one. But I thought I liked the, the composition of that one a lot. Mm. Um, I liked it I'm, too, I'm with you. I would have liked to have seen a larger one. Yep. Okay. Um, the deer in the meadow from Pat. Oh, uh, that was excellent. <laughs> And that one, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't say anything about it, but yep, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sway the judges, are you? No, Trying to find I, uh... What? You okay, looking for it, Tom? Go. I okay. got it. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, there we go. There we go. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um, Heather's daughter, the bees on the flower. Is that before the deer? Yeah. Yes. I'm sort of going backwards in my... Okay, good, good. That'll help Tom find it. Yes. Okay. And Boy, then my last finalist knows... um, was the one, two, three, four, fifth one. It was the toad. Mm. <laughs> the gray toad? The toad. And I did look up toads have... Frogs have smooth, slimy, somewhat slimy skin. Toads have dry, warty skin. Toad it is, then, because that was definitely a bumpy guy. (laughs) Oh, that is a toad. (laughs) Yeah. I'll have to kiss that to know it's a toad. (laughs) So those are my finalists. Is that I'm going to pick for a winner, Heather's Daughter and the Bees on the Flower. Oh, Grasshopper. Was that a grasshopper or a cricket on the back of the toad? Yeah. Oh, I missed that. All right. So you... You say you selected the bees on the flower. I'm going to go with the bees on the flower for Heather's daughter. Okay. I don't think that that is. Oh, you're right. That That is a little bug on the the toad's back. Yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Yeah, It looks like a spider. Oh, yeah. All right. (laughs) All right, Tom. Let's go to the bees on the flower. Bees on the flower. All right. So that is our second winner. Okay. John, what is your favorite part about this? I I like the mix of colors that is I like the composition with the the out of focus background that really brings your attention to the to the object in the center and the fact that she got two bees on one flower. That's that's mm. Yeah, that's that's really impressive. impressive. Yeah, that you know, field is awesome. Yeah, cuz the entire background is blurry. It really, really focuses you on, on that front, and uh, and the flower in the front that's blurry too. Mm. Yeah. That's that's really good composition, and you know, and the flower is going at an angle to the right, and it's centered very nicely because it's slightly to the right, but it's balanced because it's leaning. Yeah. Rather, you know, if it was straight up and down and right in the center, it would have been a much uh, less energetic foes pose okay really so, nice. i just have to say that those were the two photos that i was voting for if i had a vote <laughs> and i would have chose in the order of uh make way for ducklings and then the bees because of the subject because of the picture was it the best composed was it the best shot it was a cell phone but i loved it because it was the ducklings you know they were fantastic <laughs> yeah and the other one, because of the depth of field, the colors, everything about that picture was great. So, good I job, guys. With birds. Yeah, that's another yeah, great one. So, yep. Yeah, we actually really got a lot of great pictures. There were no pictures that I didn't love. <laughs> okay, folks, we, we, that's it. We'll see you for another hangout hour. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>